Hey what's up guys, Stefan here. Today is a quick video showing you my process when recording vocals in Logic Pro X. I've got a vocalist I'm working with, Jay Wade, down today in the studio, so I thought it would be a great idea or a great opportunity to run you guys through this. So this is my setup in Logic Pro X for vocal recording. I like to have one group of tracks for the verse, a group of tracks for the chorus and a group of tracks for ad-libs and other parts. These groups are actually stacks, so applying any processes to these stack channels will apply uh, these same, same effects to the rest of the tracks within that stack. I have multiple tracks already set up in each stack. Um, so I can work quickly, especially if we're recording line by line, which a lot of artists do um, these days to get a near perfect performance. Um, and it saves time. It saves it, it, it saves me wasting time creating tr um, new tracks and making sure that each track is set up properly and rooted to the right place and so on and so forth. So sometimes a, a take is great, minus a few words or so. Um, for that, I use Auto Punch. And what Auto Punch does, um, it allows you to select an area using the marquee tool. Um, so you hold down um, Command uh, to use this and obviously make sure that the marquee tool selected in the toolbar up here and once you've selected your area when you now hit record logic will only record that selected area so your artist can go ahead and sing their full line but just those specific words in that specific area will actually record and that allows us to get a natural sound intake once everything is recorded i will then go back and put everything onto one track if it's feasible um, we'll talk about editing vocals in the next video, um, but for now, let's get to recording. Okay, so I don't have the privilege of a vocal booth. However, I have treated my room with acoustic panels and strategically placed my mic, um, not too close to any walls and away from the center of the room. Okay, there's a reason for this, um, which we'll go into more detail again in another video or in one of my full length tutorial videos on my website, which will be coming soon. If you don't yet have the funds for room treatment, don't listen to these memes making fun of people using pillows and mattresses, etc. Um, do what you have to do to get the sound that you need. You know, it's all about progression. I'd love to hear about what you're using in your vocal booth at the moment. You can put that in the comment section below. We can have a discussion about that. And also, if you're um, kind of considering uh, ideas and possibilities on how you can treat your room, um, drop that in the comment section below as well. And we can have a conversation on that also. Okay, so I set the vocalist around 8 inches away from the mic or so and I use the pop shield to help the singer maintain that distance um, then we set levels. I like to set it so the vocalist is peaking around minus 13 dB. This gives me or whoever is mixing the track plenty of headroom for the latter processes. Like a dirty martini, he messed up her whole system. He messed up her whole system. She believed in the story, she told me she had me on, yeah. She had me on, how could she know he's la la loyal nigga? Apologize and her feelings too strong. How could she let you in a world forget you? She can't see that he's doing her wrong. My setup also includes a headphone splitter so I can hear what the vocalist is hearing and get them the best sound possible to inspire their best performance. And that's it guys, short and sweet, but I hope you picked up something new today. The track we recorded is actually out today also. It wasn't produced by me, um, I just recorded the vocals, but Jay Wade is an artist I will be working a lot more closely with in the foreseeable future. So I'd love if you could head over, head over to um, SoundCloud and support us in that way. And also, if you liked this video, hit that like button and share. I've been Stefan, and as always, happy beat making. She should have listened to my intuition. Played the part, then some baby, I'm wrong, cause he bad it good. Yeah, he bad it good.